Hey everyone, this is Sabrina and welcome back to my channel. I have another Sunday journaling project spread to share with you and this time I will again be using the Mandy Ford printables and just showing you how you can use these not only for scrapbooking projects but you can use them for your journal. This project right here is Harvest Moon and I decided to do something a little different with the left side focusing on the purples and the pinks and then the right side focusing on the yellows and the reds and I really love the effect that it created and it was such a fun idea that I had to just try the two different colors on each side and also I just love this kit it's a beautiful kit from Mandy Ford and I just kind of put my days wherever I needed to put them and I thought I was going to do daily pages for October but I decided that I was going to do just the weekdays on this page I kind of wish I would have done daily pages just so that way I'd have more room to play with all the different kits and pieces in this kit, but I just stuck with Monday through Friday for this kit. And I used several of the words from her word sheet like hello, magic, manifest, and create. Those little gemstones, that's what I'm calling them, I use those um, from a pattern paper and I just cut out the pieces that I needed and even if it was just a little sliver of a piece, I still made it work by putting it on the edge. I also wanted to define the daily boxes by putting down some lines. So I put, I put a line up by the number and the day and then down below and that way it gave me a more, like I said, defined box. I bumped up magic magic because it was going to interfere with Wednesday and in just a second I'm going to add a few stamps because I had once I made those lines that I drew I had a few gaps uh, where there needed to have something I just felt like it was missing something so like this section right here I created you know the lines and I just left a large gap so I found a large red stone and I'm going to put that one down also B and I cut the stone so that way it would look like it's laying uh, flat against the top of Friday. And then I pulled out a really old Kelly Stamps stamp set and I stamped You Matter and then a little uh, pattern that she had on the stamp. And then I put Note to Self and it kind of makes it sound like Note to Self Be Manifest. All right, so that one is done, and I'm going to do this one that is Halloween spooky themed, and I love how it is just the oranges and the pinks. And I took some time to kind of plan out how I wanted to do this spread because I really wanted to create a little scene with the house and the stars and the moon. Um, so I got that all figured out, and that's going to be on the right page. And the left page is going to have a cute little ghost with a hat. And once again, you guys, I fought with this alphabet stamp. I think this time it was really dirty and not stamping well. And also, you guys, I can't get this stamp set straight. And at this point, it's just, I just have to laugh. So I tried again on a piece of paper and it turned out all right. And I mean, it could be better, but I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. And then I will just put it above the broomstick. I mean, I even used a broomstick to try to make sure I got this straight. But you know, it didn't work out and that's okay. One of the things that I love to do with my journaling pages and projects in general is take a striped piece of paper and cut a thin portion to go across both pages. That way it adds some consistency and um, cohesiveness between the two pages. And that's what I did here. There was a striped paper with the pinks and the blacks and oranges. And so I put a small little piece down at the bottom. I trimmed up that spooky a little bit more and I'm gonna put that down below um, at the bottom of the page and and that way the house can go above it and the house feels a little more grounded. Once again, I used a pattern paper that I cut off little tiny pieces of and I just made it work. Like that star you saw me put down on the far right of the page, it's only a little piece of a star, but I was able to make it work by putting it on the edge. And then I have two bats as well and I think I cut those from a pattern paper as well. And my ghost with a little hat. And then I will add in the days that I'm gonna include for this spread once again I think I did four days or maybe five days I'm just kind of going with the flow with my October pages and if I feel like I need a daily page I'll do a daily page if not I'll just do a few pages so this one includes Wednesday through Sunday 
and something happened with Sunday stamp. The stamp was so dirty that it just did not stamp pink. So I cleaned it up and just stamped it on paper and that will just have to work. And it turned out really cute. And I'll just add in the days uh, using the Everyday Explorers calendar stamp set. I just used that stamp set. That's the main one that I have and you know, it's done. So now I have two festive October pages for my journal. And I hope you guys enjoyed seeing these come together. I would love a thumbs up or a subscribe if you wanna keep seeing my videos. All right, have a great day, bye.